Patreon of Jevo today and receive a ton of perks including Discord roles, early access content, private support channels, code snippets, and more. Join today at patreon.com slash jevajs. Alright, what is up guys? My name is Zua from Jeva. Today I'm going to be, uh, we're going to be doing emotes and, uh, uh, tasks and pet scenarios. So, uh, it's pretty much, it's not formally called emotes in 5M, it's just called pet scenarios, I think. Uh, in anim animations, but, uh, yeah. Let's, uh, the code is going to be in the description below. Uh, I know it's been a while again, uh, I, I just kind of busy with life, but, uh, yeah. So let's get started. I'm gonna go into my uh, server uh, resources. I'm gonna create a new folder and I'm gonna call it emotes. And uh, in here, I'm going to open this here, and I'm gonna make uh, you know the resource style. Uh, the ring resource needs one. Um, so let's start here. Clients, or client scripts. Uh, it's gonna be a table because we're gonna be separating this into two files. The first one's gonna be emotes.lua. The second one's gonna be main.lua. So this emotes.lua, let's actually create that right now. Emotes.lua. Uh, in here, we're just gonna. Um, so I'm just gonna copy and paste uh, what I have from GitHub. So uh, that'll be in the description below. But this is pretty much just a list of all. Not all of them, but like most of the common uh, yeah, ped scenarios that you can use on your character. Uh, so yeah, that's that's that. Um, we're just gonna keep this uh, emotes is equal to an array, so uh, it'll pretty much just look like uh, what what this all means. Like if you are confused by this, it just it'll just look like the emotes uh, table will just look like. Uh, like this it'll be like let's say we were to put e this I just want to show you what this would look like it would just mean like the same thing as this array that, that would pretty much if I were to just uh, take that part um, just like that, that that's what that would look like but uh, just in case you're confused in this kind of format also I've taken this list from a um, from a forum thread on 5m uh, it's right here, if, uh, and it's also on the GitHub. So just uh, if you really care and want to check the, this guy who made it, uh, I asked for permission, obviously, but uh, to copy this. But uh, yeah, so now um, I'm gonna create the main dot below. So now we can start writing the logic for it. So um, for this, I'm gonna start off with moving that. Okay, sorry about that. I'm gonna start off with creating a player. Um, is equal to nil, which is a uh, non existent value, or yeah, pretty much you can call that. And then status is equal to false. So we'll be using these two variables throughout this script that we're going to write. So I'm going to start off with uh, writing register command. I'm going to call the command uh, emote, so it'll be slash emote, and then we need to call back with the parameters of source and args oh, I don't know why I wrote args or and so I'm going to do and here I'll zoom this in for you guys um, so um, pretty much what we're doing in here now is uh, we're going to be setting the player to uh, do players equal to get player head minus one and then we're gonna get um, so this is just gonna set this variable you know to the players hash and I'm gonna create a variable called emote to play is equal to args one so it'll be like uh, here, I'll write this below here we're gonna do like just an example slash emote I think jog is one of them, so that's what this variable will be storing. Uh, first argument. So yeah. Um, now we don't want it. We don't want the person to be able to, you know, uh, 
do an emote in the car or in a vehicle. So I'm gonna do if gets player ped or no my bad get vehicle vehicle head is in uh, and then we're gonna use the player variable that we just set so if the player is inside of a vehicle uh, if it's not equal to zero uh, then we will just return and we won't let him do anything so pretty much what this means is um, this this uh, native right here will return if it's not zero it will I don't really remember I wrote this script like I think two weeks ago or something so uh, it's my first time or first time in like two weeks I didn't really I'm kind of just improvising this sorry about that but uh, this if it's not zero then uh, that means the person is in a car I think something like that and then uh, we're gonna be creating a function now uh, so I'm gonna do start emote. We're gonna be calling this function start emote, and then the uh, variable right here that we just stored emote to play. I haven't even defined this function yet, but uh, let's let's go ahead and do that right now. So I'm gonna do function start emote, uh, and then we'll get emote name, which is anim. If you remember here, you don't have to make it. I'm just gonna make it so you guys can uh, see what I'm talking about. I'm calling that anim. But it doesn't have to be. So if um, so if the emote variable, the emotes variable that we defined over here, I'm just gonna split this off just so you can see it better. Uh, so if the emotes, uh, ouch, sorry about that. So if the emotes, uh, if this exists, so if emotes, whatever we wrote in here, if it exists, and if there's a player defined, and status is equal to false then end. So pretty much what this means uh, something wrong with the syntax highlighting uh, it's, it's not that's supposed to be showing that but uh, pretty much if this emote exists in the dictionary I think that's what it's called and then if there's a player defined if the status is false where status pretty much means uh, pretty much the the status is the uh, to check if the player is doing an emote right now or whenever it's like being like triggered. So if the player is doing that, or if it's if he's not doing it, then we will allow him to um, what's it called uh, we'll allow him to play the uh, task scenario so to do that we're going to do task start scenario in place I'm going to make sure I spelled that right okay I spelled it right um, player so this is a native as you can tell uh, we're going to be using the player the get player pet ID we're going to be using that here uh, and then we're going to do emotes um, animation dot anim so if they do like if they do slash emote jog the uh, it'll check this here this table um, jog right here dot anim so it'll be oh it'll start playing that one right there so the program would be like oh it's gonna play this one so uh, that's what it's like gonna check for that's that's what this is right here so uh, we have to do that and then zero and true. I forgot what these last two parameters meant. I'm sure you can search it up if you want. And then we want to set status is equal to true because now the uh, person is playing the um, the emote. So I actually made a mistake here, uh, or not a mistake, but instead of ending it right here, I'm going to do else. Uh, if he is playing or if none of these conditions are met then we're just gonna return we're, we're not gonna do anything here uh, and, then, and then we'll do end and then we will also do end right here it's to end the function of course so now we can start writing um, well it's important for us to be able to uh, 
so in five here let me let's just explain so in 5m when you when you run this native here uh it'll just constantly loop the scenario or the emote it'll just keep going it'll never stop until you like uh, die or something I don't remember but you have to be able to stop uh, the peds task so to do that we're just gonna make a listener um, that will check if you do if you move or click the space key any movement buttons it'll just cancel the emote so I'm gonna do citizen dot create thread function and end so I'm gonna do while true do because this is a oops this is a uh, constant loop. So uh, I'm also gonna put the citizen dot wait here citizen dot wait zero. I'm just gonna put this on the bottom just because it's what I had there. So I'm gonna do if uh, status is equal to true. You don't if you don't need to uh, write you know equal to true because um, it's whatever if the conditions true then it doesn't matter so if it's true then we will do um, I'm gonna end it right there if it's true then we have to check if the person moves their key if their W ASD or spacebar key which are the main movement buttons I guess so we have to do if um, so the way I'm gonna do this here uh, it's a little weird and uh, you know former developers probably will hate me for this but I'm just gonna do I'm just gonna write this if statement just so you can see it better and honestly I feel like you can understand how this is working a little better so I'm gonna click a new line or make a new line I'm gonna do then and uh, also gonna end it right down here okay so I'm gonna do uh, if is control rest which is the native to check if a button is clicked on your keyboard or key is clicked uh, so this pretty much is the uh, W key that's that's the W key right here this input group is one it's I think it's always one I mean, you could change it if you want uh, I forgot how this native worked but uh, there's a list uh, I'll put in the description below just in case you want to change it but 32 is the W key I'm just gonna copy and paste this five times so the second one is 34 which is the A key uh, you don't have to put these comments I'm just putting them here just so you can see what these mean 30 oh, I'm gonna do 33 actually 33 is the S key 35 is the D key and then 55 is the space key or space bar uh, the order really doesn't matter I just put it in that order but uh, now what we have to do is uh, this will create a syntax error so uh, what I want to do is do or I'm gonna add or in all of these um, because uh, you can't just put them on like that that will not work but uh, that should work um, let's see here I'm just gonna add these because that may be that might make a uh, syntax error on just put that there but uh, yeah that's pretty much that um, so if it's if any of these keys are pressed we're gonna have to do uh, clear clear head tasks and then player which is that variable that gets defined right here when we do slash emote uh, so player and then uh, yeah, that, no, that's the only parameter. And then we also want to set status is equal to false because now they are not playing the emote anymore. So let me just check the syntax. Uh, or yeah, I think it's fine. I don't, shouldn't have no errors hopefully. But uh, I'm gonna go run the server. I'll see you guys uh, in a bit. Okay, guys, I'm in the server now and. Um, uh, let's do slash emote uh, jog was one of them as you can see we're now jogging uh, it won't stop until I click W A S D or spacebar so I'm going to click spacebar and it stopped uh, I can do A uh, 
try to do W, it'll stop. Uh, let's check out the other ones, like what kind of others we could do. Camera, uh, slash emote camera. As you can see, he's, dude's taking a picture. And um, I just click W and it's canceled. Uh, what else is there? There is a cop, which is like the first one. Uh, yeah that's that's definitely what a cop does I don't know but uh, yeah there you go that's how that works um, thank you guys for watching also become a patreon uh, it helps me out even though I don't really you know I haven't been uploading a lot I'm sorry about that but uh, I'm trying uh, yeah so become a patreon also subscribe uh, thank you guys for watching and uh, yeah see ya